it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we are going to be on Haywire Ranch. Uh, I wanted to play this map again, and uh, thought I'd start a series on it. So I'll just kind of run you through the equipment, run you through some changes I made, and then we'll start some plowing. Uh, so, the changes that I made, I changed the corn, um, crop, and chop straw textures and then I also changed the uh, wheat texture so you can see the corn texture here uh, and I basically took these from Clover Creek uh, and then here is the chop straw texture for the corn and if we run over here we have the uh, wheat uh, stubble and chop straw textures so we run over here to the farm. Uh, here we have my K30 in red hooked to my Meridian 990 Max fuel trailer for all of the uh, fuel and damage repair needs. Uh, another thing I did is I removed all of the, the three bins that were here and the couple augers and whatever and put in these new Meridian bins from American Eagles Modding. Uh, all of the augers and bins and all that are from American Eagles Modding. So we got seven of those. And then we got the uh, Brant auger for unloading these bins. And then we got the Farm King auger for loading them, obviously. And then a Case 1370 to run that. And then if we run over here to the other storage. And it's going to kill my frame rate. Of course, whenever I want to record, it decides to kill my frame rate. Uh, here we have a Degelman Pro-Till 40 for plowing, uh, 2623 disc cultivating for cultivating. Then we got the DB60, uh, Kinsey 1100, two Case IH 620 USA quad tracks, a Massey Ferguson 7726, John Deere 9770 STS. Sorry that I'm kind of going fast, but I just kind of want to get through it. Uh, New Holland T9 450 with Realtree. John Deere 612C 12 row corn head. Uh, we got a GM or an International S2600 uh, tender truck, a Kenworth uh, anhydrous truck, Patriot 4440 sprayer, Freightliner FLD 120 with Dakota 48 foot spread axle. Hopper trailer, uh, Case 470 Steiger with the 1910 air cart and 1890 drill. Mauer header trailer with a John Deere 640D header. And if we run over here, we have four more bins. Uh, here we have four large twister bins and then a Sakandiak, uh, I think as I say it, TL10-1200 for unloading these bins. Okay, we will go ahead and get started now. We're going to start doing some plowing. Uh, I took soil mod out of my mods folder. Uh, kind of want to just play without it for a little while. Uh, at least on this map anyways. So, I uh, took that out. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started on some plowing in our stubble fields. Starting with this one right here by, right here by us, and we are going to cultivate under that uh, fully grown cornfield. Just get everything set back and start over, I guess. So we'll get this thing unfolded. Drop down. Of course, I'm going to screw up in my turn here. There we go. 
Okay, and then we'll go ahead and, of course, grab a screenshot, as always. There we go. So we will do some plowing with this big beast. Um, the Degelman here is private. This is a polygonish model that was released in a private group. Um, wish it had dirt added to it. It doesn't. I might go in and add that. And then the wheels. I don't know what the deal is with them having black spots. Must be uh, from it when it was AO'd. Didn't, uh, didn't have his settings quite right or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it is kind of neat. Yeah, I kind of thought, you know, to myself, I want to play on a map and use bins and, you know, one that's not too huge but not small either. And I thought, you know what, let's uh, edit up Haywire Ranch and play on that. This is a very, very nice map. Uh, Pain Mapping doesn't think so. He thinks it's garbage, but... I like it. <clears throat> I don't believe that this version was ever released. You know, obviously my edit with the different textures and stuff is private, but I can't remember if this was a version that he just sent out to like, you know, me and the other guys that, you know, he was sending it to, or if he actually released this version. I can't remember. But, I know there are versions of this released, but whether it's uh, this version or not, I know not. I do not know. So yeah, I was uh, doing some more work on my map yesterday, and I'm going to be doing more on it uh, after this video. Uh, I, well, I am going to get one more video recorded, so that way um, I can get ahead on my recordings. So that way I don't have to record anything this weekend. I don't have to worry about recording it. I just can, you know, get it edited and get it uploaded and all that. But, um, I am going to be working on my map. That'll be not tomorrow's video, but Friday. Uh, that'll be in Friday. Because I'll record, um, there will be another video on Clover Creek tomorrow. Uh, and we'll be finishing Wheat Harvest. You guys will see... Well, what goes on with that uh, tomorrow and then uh, then Thursday we'll have that and Friday Saturday Sunday I'm not sure yet uh, probably maybe do like one video here one video clover one video on my map we'll see we'll see what happens I might do a video on Oregon Springs again I don't know I'm getting tired of playing on Oregon Springs because I'm getting tired of harvesting potatoes. Um, but yeah, it definitely does get old. Then, uh, if anybody's wondering how I got all the bins placed on the map, uh, I did not sit with a tractor and the hitch and pull them everywhere. That would have been a long, annoying, boring process. Uh, no, what I did is, you know, as I was editing the map, I imported the bins and then placed them in the way that I wanted them, and then just basically did some copying and pasting of all of the XYZs for the uh, positioning and the rotations, and, uh, you know, basically edited the vehicle XML, uh, and I made a save game on, you know, before I edited this. And I bought, you know, seven Meridian bins, four Twister bins. Um, well, that was after I figured out how many bins I would have. But, you know, I went through and bought them all. And then uh, just opened the vehicles XML from the save game file. And, you know, copy and pasted all of the XYZs and saved it. Uh, finished my edit. Put that, you know, zipped that up. Put it in my mods folder. Overwrote, overwrote the old, you know, zip file, 
and then uh, um, and then I lost my train of thought. Then I over well, then I made a new save game, and then uh, you know started it, saved it, quit it, and then just copied the vehicles and career save game XMLs over, and uh, now I got uh, everything set up. So that's how I got that set up. Okay, yesterday when I was working on my map, uh, finished up uh, the farmyard that I was working on in the last video of it. I was working on a, you know, area, like kind of farm, small farm with like a, you know, they had a, uh, a, di a cow barn with some calves in it, and then that's where the bale cell point is. Uh, and I redid some stuff there. I redid the area for the. Uh, bales because there were too many bales there so I minimized you know made there be a lot less bales uh, I only did like two small stacks and they're just two bales on the bottom and then one and then I just have one bale cell trigger uh, and then I put uh, some silage bits there and did some other you know work to it um, you guys will see that you know I'll show it all what I did and then I was working on power lines again uh, which really sucks to do. I hate doing power lines. Power lines and trees are the most tedious things to do. And then I screwed around trying to figure out how to get doors to work. Uh, I didn't get it, but then I was talking with the guy that uh, made Northwest Ohio, uh, asking him how he got his doors set up, and he told me, so I'm going to try that out um, later today, see if I can get that to work. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully I can get that figured out, because I would love to add working doors, obviously. Um, so, hopefully I can get that, uh, figured out. I'm not too worried about missing some stuff because we'll get it when we come back with the cultivator. So, I'm not uh, too terribly worried about it. I'll try a little bit of ink cab plowing here, I think. Not sure how well this will work, but so far, so good. So, yeah, the uh, textures that I put on this map are the ones that I'm going to be putting on mine as well. Uh, I'm not going to be changing any of the crop textures until the map is finished. And I have, you know, like, chop straw and all that stuff added. Then I'll go through and change my textures and all that stuff. But uh, for right now, I'm not worried about it. through a tree. My bad. Then, like I said, I'll, uh, I think what I'm going to do is like a time-lapse video of finishing the weed harvest. So, like, I'll just sit and record uh, while I, you know, sit and combine, basically. And uh, then I'll just do a time-lapse video of it, add some music to it, and whatever. I do want to say thanks for, like, nearly 310,000 views. I just looked at that yesterday. And that is ridiculous. Uh, and I forget how many subscribers it said. Like, 2,200 or something like that? 23? I know it was a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. That, that's awesome.
And I looked like my most viewed video was the uh, first attempt that I made at doing a series of Clover Creek. Uh, it was the second episode of that. It had like over 10,000 views, I think, or something like that. It was nuts. There was a lot of views on that video. It surprised me seeing how many were on that. It was just crazy. did set the timer, right? Yes, okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't uh, forget to turn that on. That would not be fun. I'd be recording for like an hour or something and be like, okay, what happened to my timer? Oops. <laughs> I hate this. I don't get it. I just don't get it why it does this. Okay, I'm going to restart the save game because this is just stupid. Be back in a sec, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's get going again here. And then I have had a few people ask me about uh, my pickup, you know, what, uh, you know, what happened to the videos of it and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, well, first off, uh, first off, we have, like, two feet of snow on the ground, and it's, right now, it's currently blowing outside. Um, you know, the wind is just crazy. And... You know, also, all of what's left on it is something that I won't be doing. Um, I got new tires for it. Uh, I had been driving home from work one day, and uh, one blew. Uh, it must have hit a nail or something as I was leaving the job site, and it went flat as I was driving. I didn't realize it, and I drove on it, and all of a sudden, the back of my pickup started sliding stopped and I had just the sides of the tire that was it and the rim obviously uh, so then it part it sat for quite a while and then uh, it got new tires and the uh, place I took it Firestone they said that uh, the ball joints especially on um, well the ball joints were bad but the one on the driver's side was pretty much shot he said you can take that wheel and you can just shake it so it's really been sitting now plus my clutch is more or less ready to just give out I need to get a new clutch too so that I can't well I probably could do it but I'm not doing it uh, that I will be taking back to Firestone and they will do that um, so and then the ball joints, uh, my dad has a friend that actually works at a Ford dealership, and he's a mechanic there. Uh, so my dad's been talking to him. He said he's going to see if he'll get, you know, if he can get him to help with it or whatever, or do it. And, uh, yeah, so. And then it got an oil change when it got uh, tires as well. So just the clutch and the ball joints, and it's set. Uh, and then still need to do title changes and stuff uh, and then uh, get it licensed and whatnot so that's another reason why I haven't been driving it uh, is because it's not licensed yet uh, hopefully maybe like tomorrow it won't be blowing like crazy so then I can maybe make it down there and get the title changed 
Um, and then I can work on getting it licensed. Uh, yesterday I ordered license plate lights for it uh, because no place around here has what I was looking for and the only way that I could maybe find it was to go to the salvage yard but um, there's a lot of snow so <laughs> I'm not going to go running around in the snow trying to find the parts and whatever so I said I will just order it. Uh, it's not the same as what was on there. It's different but it'll probably be a little nicer uh, and then so got that off eBay for like $14 for two of them so that's not too bad and then um, yeah so then I can get those put on when it comes <clears throat> uh, the four wheel drive on it works we found that out I uh, had to use it a few times uh, there was one day my stepdad had to drive it to go get some stuff uh, when it was snowing because uh, last week Sunday or last week in like at like one o'clock Monday morning is when it started uh, snowing and so you know that Sunday night uh, it started raining later in the night and then overnight you know like I woke up around one o'clock sometime and I looked out my window and it was snowing so somewhere between like nine Sunday night and um, nine Sunday nights and like one Monday morning it started snowing and then it snowed three days straight I stopped for like a couple hours maybe uh, and we got 18 inches or so from that plus the wind was blowing so we had all kinds of snow drifts and whatever um, yeah it was crazy and then uh, it actually got pretty nice for a few days and there was a lot of snow that melted and then we got some more snow what was that uh, maybe like Monday I think it was that we got more snow and then it snowed for like a couple of days and now it's been blowing like crazy and um, no, it was Saturday. Saturday that it started snowing again. And then it snowed... Um, snowed most of the night. And then it quit. And then Sunday night or Monday morning it started snowing again. And then we got another like foot or so of snow, I'd say. And then it's just been windy and stuff. So it's... You know, there's drifts... Uh, in our neighbor's yard that like covers their fence and if it was up against their house it would cover their patio door too it's just ridiculous and then uh, our neighbor uh, you know we mow the whole yard so you know I mowed our neighbor's yard as too as well and plus you know they they were concrete yeah concrete stuff and you know they'd be gone until like after dark and whatever usually and I'd mow it and that was you know part of our lease or rent agreement or whatever it is and then um, the other day uh, not yesterday Monday it was um, he must have rented a bobcat or else it's from his company or whatever but he had a bobcat over here and he's like you know, I was shoveling some snow uh, so that way I could back my pickup in the driveway again and get it out of the way for snow plows, you know, for the payloader to plow snow, whatever. He was like, you want me to help you with that? I was like, sure. He goes, well, I owe you for all the mowing. Okay. So he moved our snow then and then our other neighbor, you know, we don't have a snow blower. Um, you know, so the first snow that we got, it was just, there was so much snow, it didn't even pay to go out and shovel it as it was still snowing. So ours, you know, had that full 18 inches of snow on it, pretty much. And uh, our other neighbor, he had a snowblower, came over and blew off the driveway for us. So that was nice. I wish we had a snowblower, but we don't. We got rid of it when we moved. When we moved into town. Which also sucks. I wish that we were still living out of town. But, uh get to be out of town a lot when I'm with my dad so that's nice so 
almost done with this field. I'll probably be able to finish it off in this video. I think this Degelman would work with dirt. It just needs needs spec maps and stuff and, you know, all that stuff to be added. So I might look into that. Because I, I don't like when stuff doesn't get dirty. Because most mods do. So then you'll be, you know, like here. Tractor's getting dirty and the cultivator is just clean. So that's, that annoys me. I always hate that. Or where an implement gets dirty but a tractor doesn't and... I always like to have dirt on stuff. You know, tractors, I like those to be a little dirtier. Combines, those get really dirtier. Um, you know, that's how I like those, because then it kind of makes sense, you know, when you're combining, dust collects on the you know, dust and chaff and all that stuff collects on the combine. So the combines usually get pretty dirty. So you know, I use universal spec maps, so I have less dirt, more dirt, and middle. Um, I don't really use less dirt a whole lot because it doesn't really add a whole lot of dirt. Uh, I really only use that for, you know, like maybe I'll use it on a four-wheeler or something. Something that won't be quite as dirty. Um, I mainly use middle more than it gets really dirty. Um, if I added more to this thing, it would pretty much be solid brown. So, I don't use that a whole lot. I just kind of use the middle dirt. Uh, that's what all of my mods have that I've released and anything that I add spec maps to, um, you know, like the International 6200 drill that I downloaded. Uh, when I downloaded it, uh, that's the drill that we're using on the server. Uh, when I downloaded it, it didn't have spec maps, but it was set up for it. You know, everything was ready. You just had to add, you know, make and add spec maps to it. And when I say that it's ready, meaning that everything only has one material so you know like if um if i took like the wheel and i on this cultivator and i joined um joined the tire and the rim together so it was just one solid object you know like right now the tire you know the rubber and the rim are two different pieces but they're under the same transform group so they both spin but if I joined these together and then just selected, you know, only the rubber, baked that as black, and then selected only the rim and baked that as gray or white or whatever, then it wouldn't work with dirt uh, in game because you can only have one material. You can't have more than that. You can, but if you try and add dirt to any of that stuff, then it'll just be dirty all the time. It'll be covered in dirt. Once you buy it, you won't be able to wash it, that kind of thing. Uh, so, <clears throat> it makes things a little bit more tedious, you know, it'd be a lot nicer, you could just have, you know, the wheels and the rims and all that stuff in just one, and then you'd have less parts, and, but, couldn't work with dirt, and, so, but, um, yeah, so then, like, the, back to what I was saying, the drill, I just kind of went, added the middle dirt to it, and away it went. And then I did have to add some stuff in the XML too. So basically when you add dirt to something that does not have it, you have to go into the mod desk and add uh, washable to the functions or specializations, whatever it is. And then you go to the mods XML and then you add the washable dirt duration, wash duration line in there. And then that's where you can adjust how fast or slow it gets dirty. Uh, for me, I found that 30 is about perfect um i've had mods before that like i'm sitting there okay it had spec maps and giants editor why isn't it getting dirty then you go look in the xml file and it's set at like 300 
So, you know, I've found that 30 usually works the best. Some mods, when you set it at 30, it gets dirty, like, almost instantly. So then you gotta adjust it, but for me, I've found that 30 is about the best. Um... You know, about the best amount, and then you just add uh, add your spec maps in Giant's Editor. You apply that to everything, and then you whoa, this thing is in some pretty rough shape. Um, you add your vehicle shader dirt XML file to it, or it's either an XML or a Lua file, and then um, you have to have your dirt your dirt normal texture and then you bring up your spec map and apply it to everything and then you got a dirty mod so okay so we'll just finish this little pass and then that'll be the video uh, and then the next video we'll work on another field so thanks for watching you guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see uh, make sure to check out Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys.